guys i know this is a very very different video to be honest there's been a bit of everything on this channel okay i have no shame they say stick to a niche i have no niche okay i'm obviously makeup and beauty lifestyle orientated on this channel but do you know what i've i like to post what i like to watch i've been liking watching book hauls book reviews, read with me vlogs. So I'm just gonna do this video. I don't know if it's gonna reach anyone. I don't know where this is gonna lead. And I wanna bring you guys along with me whilst I read the Akata series. So just a bit of background, I kind of recently discovered my love for reading just under two years ago. So in 2021, my first book was A Thousand Splendid Sons and that's what got me into reading. I didn't know what was possible in these books. Okay, yes, I read books in school and stuff, but not out of pleasure, but now, I don't even watch TV. Netflix, who? I'm obsessed with books. All you will see me do is read. So I do have a book talk account. I just need to build a community where we can all talk about books because I feel like I'm doing my friends and my family's heads in because I, all I do is talk about books and they're just not into it. I only have one friend that likes to read. We need to build a community where like we can talk about books, okay? So that's why I'm doing this video. So I read A Court of Thorns and Roses. I've been annotating guys and who have I become? Do you know what? I thought annotating was scary and really complicated because sometimes I'd be seeing very professional annotations going on but what I like to do when I'm annotating is just kind of like highlight things that made me feel a certain way and maybe things that kind of contribute to the to the plot and the storyline yeah i don't have that many here but guys this opened up a world this was this is my first fantasy romance read i've never explored that I've, i'm a romance girly when you add fantasy in it <laughs> the obsession is real <sighs> tamlin and Feyre. so basically i haven't finished it yet so i might start this vlog off by finishing this book first i literally have this much to finish and your girl just went straight away it's saturday today i woke up at 9 a.m my sister's like do you want to go out and i went out and i picked up the whole series so i picked it up from the works and they were like seven pounds each literally the girl at the till was like you need a loyalty card because you clearly read a lot and i was like yes ma'am please give it to me but yeah these are so pretty like the covers are oh my god they're so nice and these are matte. These are matte. They're so... I love matte books. You know when the cover's matte? I think this is in the wrong order. Yeah, it's in the wrong order. It's okay though. It's I cannot wait to get lost in this world because a lot of people say that, you know, A Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Wings and Ruin are like the best, apparently. But I love this and it's only the first book and a lot of people say it's alright. It's alright. But I... I am leaning to like a 4, 4.5 star read in this because... It's playing with my emotions because I love Tamlin and Feyre together. Don't even get me started on the Risan name pronunciation shabakal because I was lost. I, I don't even know if I like the name but I'm kind of warming up to it. I just say Risan. Official pronunciation by Sarah J Maas was Risan. A lot of people like Risand or, or just plain Reese. I'm ju I've just been saying Risan. And Risan is playing with my emotions because I, I prefer Feyre with Risan than Tamlin? I don't know why. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but Feyre and Risan just go together. I don't know why. Now, so far, I feel like there's a lot of world building and I'm okay with it, you know? And I think maybe that's why people don't like it, but because this is my first fantasy read, it's, I don't have much experience with these kind of books, but I don't know. I just thoroughly enjoyed the read, the descriptions, the descriptions of the settings and the creatures. I'm such a, like, you know, fantasy thriller kind of girl when i watch shows it's giving the witcher vibes when it comes to like the creatures themselves i mean i would if this was a film i'd watch it and i'm not even like i haven't even gone through the whole series yet so let's finish the rest of this and let's see what i think about it oh i got bubble tea let's get bubble tea so i got guava bubble tea with lychee bubble i'm thirsty as hell right now i should be drinking water but I've been on a filming marathon right now today and I deserve it. It's literally sugar. Sugar. If I could read for a living and document it, I wouldn't complain. When I see people read like 10 to 20 books in a month, I actually will be doing a July wrap up which is insane because like i'm just been on a roll despite me like working a full-time job and like filming content and like dealing with life in general 
but I don't know how people read through 10 to 20 books. I would love that. I would love that, but I don't have the time. Sometimes I'm so tempted to just do an all-nighter and finish the book I'm reading, especially when it's really good. But I can't because your girl needs to go work the next day. And there's chores to do and people socialise with. I don't get it. I don't understand. But if I could, you know, do it full-time, then I could fork out 10, 15... I could probably do 20 books in a month or even more. Right, let's finish. This is like my reading corner, by the way. I got this chair, I don't even know, from Made. I got it from Made. So I'm without giving spoilers away, I'm at the bit where Feyre's done her second trial and she's at the, you know, hall and the party they do every evening. And yeah, she's about to do her third one. But the scene where like, Tamlin pulls her aside and then Rissan comes into the scene. No, can we just get a moment for that scene? It was a whole emotional roller coaster. I actually put green annotations for Rissan, the dark green, every time he popped up. It, especially when the first time at the, um, the, uh, what was it? The Fire Night, Cannon Mine. And by the way, if you, I'm just talking, but this is what this vlog's about. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to blabber on. There's a uh, Spotify playlist for Akatar and I love to put it on when I'm reading. When Feyre asks Rhysand, what do you care? And he's like, what do I care? And then says it again, goes on to his next action. This is so hard not to spoil, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys. It's I finished this and it was crazy crazy good i give it five star i finished annotating the book because i kind of dog ear is that what you call it when you flip the page i basically do that when i know i want to annotate because i don't always carry the little stickers with me but um i love this guys i finished it earlier today and obviously like i had to like clean up a bit even though i still haven't done the dishes but I'm literally dying to start a court of mist and fury. This just was insane. And I was literally, I was thinking throughout this book, like I was hoping for something to happen. Obviously, I don't want to spoil it. What I wish for actually happened and it, it literally i was so shocked because it's what i wanted and i feel like that's what's needed to make this series even better. I'm all for Feyre and Tamlin but Feyre and Rhysand is giving something. I feel like Rhysand is completely falling in love with her. I'm sad that this book finishes with Feyre a little bit like broken in the inside and I don't know how that's going to heal but we'll see throughout this book. But the writing, the characters, the description of settings was just all beautiful and i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed reading this it was so good i don't think i can read anything until i finish this series these were literally seven pounds like, i'm literally shocked i need to try and get this sticker off book is nice and crisp and new oh my god she thick oh <gasps> guys how am i supposed to read this i've had people finish this in two days i don't know let's see i might not even sleep tonight because of this book but do you guys ever read the blurb is it the blurb i forgot my book lingo let's just get let's just say it like this the changes that Feyre now has to get used to that's what i was hoping for i wanted that so bad and apparently that's what's gonna help people oh my god i'm so excited i don't like this lighting i'm trying to do this cozy vibe i feel like i need fairy lights i've got me wine and i got me book so let's get into it first i'm gonna have my dinner which is chicken and mushroom risotto <laughs> fairy lights just to make my room a bit more cozy i love reading in the dark 
and hubby told me to get this because when i read at night i always keep like the bed light on when to be honest i don't really need to this is like the best thing you clamp it on the book and then it kind of lights up you can choose neutral cool or, or warm i always do the warm but what page am i on i am only on page 12 i haven't made much progress because i watched a bit of tv with hubby and i had dinner so yeah i'm gonna try and make progress i'm a bit tired i'm not gonna lie i don't think i'm gonna be able to pull all night at all unless it's like that good it's definitely starting off a little bit slow since everything has kind of like calmed down from the previous book it just seems as though like tamlin and Lucian and the others are kind of like trying to I guess clean up the mess search out any other like um, creatures that belong to Amarantha I don't know I don't like I don't I'm not liking Tamlin and Feyre at the moment I, I feel like she's already hiding things from him and not speaking truthfully with him and yeah I'm just a bit iffy right now so I just need to get further into it want to continue reading but i can feel my eyes getting tired from going left to right left to right i haven't had this feeling in my eyes ever to be honest so fair is in the night court and i feel like she needed it because she's really struggling since everything that's happened i can't wait to see how this all unravels but yeah i'll check in with you guys tomorrow hey guys it's now the next day i literally woke up at like 10 a.m and that was that that for me is kind of like half of my day gone but yesterday i slept so late and i was so tired i ended up reading about 68 pages which i'm quite disappointed because i thought i read way more than that how did i only read 68 pages yesterday but to be honest yesterday was quite busy and then i spent the morning doing the dishes so yeah it's 1 45 right now and i'm gonna have lunch because um, i haven't eaten yet i haven't even had breakfast that's how busy i have been and I can't read too much because I've got other things to do but I want them to be done so that I can spend the rest of the day reading. I don't want to do anything else but read this book but I can't because there's too many other things that I need to do. Does anyone else like needs Tabasco with their pizza because I like I, I think at this point I need to carry Tabasco sauce in my bag. Got that hot sauce in my bag. I'm stuck in a dilemma because I need to eat but then I don't have no hands to hold the book for me. I'm still debating on whether I should get a kindle apparently like it's just easier to hold sometimes i haven't had it lately but sometimes my hands and my wrists really ache from holding the books but i think i found a better way just to hold the books and like lean them on something rather than hold them with my hand especially when i'm laying down like i put a cushion on me so that it's leaning on the cushion rather than me holding up in the air but the problem is i find that especially when i'm on book, book talk i found that i realized that people read the book on ki on the kindle but then end up buying the book anyways and if they really like it they get the hardback to be honest i'm not the biggest fan of hardbacks like for real like i rather have a matte paperback book i picked up powerless by lauren roberts when i was in the works and i had to get the akata series this is another matte paperback it's stunning it's divine <laughs> It's beautiful i love it so much like if i were to do a book it would be a matte paperback i wouldn't even want the the hardback version hey siri what is the definition of ensconced establishing yourself in a comfortable safe space do you know what reading has done one thing it has improved my vocabulary because the amount of times i have to search up words you are no one subject thank you very much oh my god the truth hurts the truth hurts thank you very much Rusan. i don't know why i'm just kind of not about the tamlin pharaoh well. i think there has to be a pronunciation guide for some of these words cesare one of the temples of akramov say i would have said caesar i would have said caesar Oh, so it's Cesar. Great, beautiful, brutal wings, membranous and clawed like a bat's, dark as night and strong as hell. I mean, the description. The description is just... 
Who the hell is Azrael? I didn't usually annotate, but since I've been doing it, it's so handy when you need to kind of like check back on, you know, important points about like the courts or the magic or if there's any like foreshadowing or you just want to react to some of these um scenes so i have like oh my god all cute or like sad i have a what the f oh my god to be honest this dark green one is for risa i mean it's not straight but it will do so that's basically what i do it's very simple i don't have complicated annotating but i've come to a point where Risan is talking about winnowing. Feyre says, high ladies don't exist. And then Risan said, we'll talk about that too, but there can be high ladies. But when he says, we'll talk about that, that just makes me think of like when Tamlin had said that to her and what they were doing in that moment in time. So that's just a, oh my God, reaction to that. This color scheme gives me Akatar vibes. So I ended up taking like a two hour nap, which to be honest, nap should be like 30 minutes only, but I was tired, I was tired guys. And then I made cake, I made cake for family and then I made cake for my office, I made two. And it's so good. I'm just having a cheeky slice right now. I'm gonna um, watch a, an episode of This Summer I Turned Pretty on Amazon and just enjoy this let's go film content after make dinner and then tonight will be my reading and you know what i'm not going to put pressure on myself everyone has busy lives i know like people who do this full-time can like read the whole book in two days but unfortunately i cannot i literally can't stop thinking of the book but i've got I've, like i don't want to feel stressed out about it so hey guys it's now tuesday i've made some progress if i didn't have to do other life things and go to work i would probably have finished this book in one day most likely it's that good I could not when tamlin locked in Feyre, i was like no you did not do that and yeah up until like now you see Feyre struggling and she's still struggling but you can get like an ounce of her like coming out like back again i've got my heatless curls in i've had my dinner and i'm just gonna read some more my tbr is just getting bigger and bigger hey guys i'm gonna continue reading a bit before work i just can't let go of this book and then when you listen to like a playlist when you put like a playlist it's like you're in the world where are my powers where are my powers please oh my god i look like a wreck, but it's okay. A simple toast with Nutella and a coffee is like the best thing ever. Yeah, I'm just over halfway. It's so good. I didn't know books could be this good. It's so hard to do these videos without like spoiling the book for everyone. Obviously, favors with Risan at the moment. And every time Risan says, um, Favor, darling, I'm like, oh my god, that's so cute. Even though she hates it, but I feel like she's starting to warm up to it. So good. And the little notes between them. When he says, I'd like to start with everywhere, but I can choose if necessary. If you know, you know. I don't know. I really, I would definitely will finish this book next. I think it's A Court of Wings and Ruin next. It's so big. And I feel like, okay, I'll move on to it. But then I might read like Fourth Wing after. Because apparently there's so much hype with Fourth Wing. And I can't wait to read that. Like, these books make me so happy. I can't even explain it. I can't even explain it. If you're not into books and you're still watching this video, I can only thank you. But if you're into the books, you know what I'm talking about. Because I was that person who hated books and I just didn't get it. And I was just like, if you read, you're just like, I don't understand you at all. I couldn't think of anything worse to do. But now, like, I've discovered it. I've discovered it and I can't let go now. I had this full-on obsession. By the way, I bought my carrot cake to work and it was a success. Everyone loved it. That was another obsession I built in during COVID. I was baking like hell and I have a knack for it, but I don't have the obsession anymore because, like, you know that when you make the cakes, the cakes have to go somewhere and they go right there. So I kind of took it, I take it easy on that, but books... Not only is it helping my vocabulary, but it's supposed to be good for the brain to help prevent against Alzheimer's. So I'm not complaining, even if I'm just reading about magical worlds and mystical fairies, it's still worth it.
guys why am i tearing up why am i tearing up this book is so good i'm almost to the end i've only got that much left i'm at the bit where reese literally explains everything and my heart is melting i knew from the beginning right from the beginning oh my god everyone that got Feyre tamlin tattoos that i saw on tiktok and i was here i'm like oh i like tamlin and Feyre. no no it just wasn't it how did i finish this book in like under a week that's insane so i'm just gonna finish this i'll probably finish this today to be honest but yeah i'm almost to the end and i feel like something bad's gonna happen too good i'm like i'm way too happy i'm literally smiling at this book but i'm coming to the end i don't know why you know when things get too good then just something comes out of nowhere i can't believe i'm already at the end of this book i literally like whizzed past it but to be honest it took me a week it's been such an experience i'm so tired it's literally 1am. What am I doing? Where's Amran? Where's Amran when you need her? <sighs> Why? Why do they have to play with my emotions? Off. He can piss off. Oh my god, there's a character in here that I can't stand anymore. I cannot stand. This guy loves getting brushed. Okay, let's finish this book. I literally have goosebumps. <laughs> what the hell? I literally have goosebumps. <sighs> I have no words. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even give this a five stars it's like a six stars to me this will hold a special place in my heart the way i'm i felt everything through reading this book they could make a five hour film on this book and i will happily watch it where do i even start the hype was real it was well deserved i i just have no words the writing is just so good that ending was insane i mean i had come across spoilers on book talk like i knew because i had seen certain people with like pointed ears like and i kind of knew which okay whatever but you know when you read about it it's like wow it's so well written you literally feel like you're in there and i love Feyre, and i love nesta i love nesta i hate tamlin anyways guys i'm gonna end the vlog here this will be the part one because i'm gonna take a break for today from reading and I'll probably start uh, a court of Wings and Fury tomorrow. Six damn stars. I'm such a romance girly, but a lot of this was fantasy. But because there's that romance touch on it between you, between all the characters, like it just it's like a cherry on top. I heard that the Throne of Glass series is definitely more fantasy, so I don't know if I would like it. But then I love every fantasy bit in here. Even when I watch movies, like I love fantasy and like Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, there's barely any romance in it. And even The Witcher, like it has a bit, you know, with like Yennefer and The Witcher himself, you know, but so far I'm just loving this. I'm taking every bit of this in. I can't pick up another book right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please let me know in the comments if you want the part two. Please do let me know if you found this video, even if you don't like reading, did you find this video like good or like did you enjoy it was it like calming i don't know like i find reading vlogs very like soothing but this um and if you do read let me know if you've read this series and yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys okay this section is the spoilers guys so if you intend to read this book and you haven't already then i would advise you to stop watching so can we just take a moment for this riddle because apparently the riddle 
is supposed to be easy to figure out and i can't figure it out am i dumb i know it's i know with when it comes to these riddles it's always something like that's just right there in front of you it's something that we want and that we seek for like a lifetime but those lucky enough to get it are ungrateful for it favors the clever and the fair but bless all who are brave enough to dare by large my ministrations are soft-handed and sweet but scorned i become a difficult beast to defeat though each of my strikes lands a powerful blow when i kill i do it slow is it love is it love? Brave enough to dare to love. Gorned, I become a difficult beast to defeat. If betrayed, love is hard to defeat. When you have heartache, love kills you. Is it love? I'm going to say it's love. It has to be love. Is it that obvious? I don't know, but I just hope I know the answer to this riddle. I think I'm getting to it, but I'm going to say love even though it doesn't really make sense but i'm so bad at riddles like i'm really bad at it and i can't believe i didn't annotate the riddle page because i had to look for it this is why i annotate so i can go back and forth i'm on chapter 44 my favorite not being able to read she's smart okay i'm literally reading this with a smile oh my god we're gonna find out what the riddle meant though each of strikes land a powerful blow when i kill i do it slow but I bless all those who are brave enough to dare. I... I knew it! Oh my god, I think this is the first time I ever got a riddle right. It could only be that. It could have only been that. I'm actually so proud of myself. And I got it from the beginning because I was like, what do we all seek? But once we have, we're so ungrateful for it. And once scorned... No, stop it! I... How much do I have left? <gasps> Towards the end, guys. So yeah, I knew that Nesta and Ellie would become fairies or high fae because I had seen videos of where like they had pointed ears. I did not see that ending coming. When he broke the bond, I was like, that's it, that's it. Because I love Feyre and Rhysand together. That, if you remember, like that tattoo was just their bargain. The bond was there already before that. So, and I love that they got married. And Tamlin is such a dickhead, like I hate him, I can't stand him, he's so oblivious, but then I understand you were hurt, but you're and you're so blindsided by I guess love. I hate that he tries to control her. I cannot wait to read this now. I know I feel like this is all war. I know I have a feeling Nesta will seek her revenge on the King of Highburn. I have a feeling that this will be another emotional roller coaster. But I absolutely love Rhysand and Feyre together. Lucian and Elaine, when when he said, when he dropped his arms and said, you're my mate, like, I literally had goosebumps. I know Lucian knows about Feyre, like, truly knows about Feyre, and Tamlin is just so blind, but, like, does that mean she has to, like, do stuff with Tamlin now because she's a spy? I hope they make this into a series because that would be amazing.